On our Paris to the Swiss Alps adventure with Viking Cruises, we found a restaurant in Zurich called Brisket, claiming they had the best American barbecue around. We were going to be the judge of that. and cheese balls, pimento rolls, corn salad, fried veggies. <laughs> B. and Jenny B. And we just got back to the room, the Renaissance here in Zurich. And um, as we told you, we went to a place called Brisket. Well, so you can go on Facebook and see all my commentaries. But number one, <clears throat> we are Southern. Yeah. You want me to hold it? No, I got it. Um, and so we did order, you know, a few little things for appetizers. Mm -hmm. And they had fried macaroni balls which were very good that they were phenomenal yes they had a pimented cheese roll which was good it was and i love pimento. she doesn't even like pimento cheese mm -mm. but she liked it but it was almost like a, a spring roll wrap and um then what else did that one have? oh that one's the one that had the corn, corn salad. salad and it it was really good so that one mm. then the other one said fried pickles and vegetables and you, uh, I thought like <laughs> mushrooms or something like that with the vegetables. Because, you know, us Southerners, you know, you give us some fried okra. A fried okra. Fried green tomatoes. Fried cauliflower. But it had said it was fried celery. Fried celery? <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> so, they didn't have fried pickles though. Yeah, but they were fried sweet pickles. Yeah. So, it was, so they it weren't was, great. And let me give you a little, it was like a fried bread and butter pickle. Yeah. So you know that wimpy, dimpy, dimpy pickle? And then they fried it. Mm -mm. No good. And fried celery? That <laughs> What in the world? Oh my gosh. And then it looked like they quartered a cauliflower <laughs> head. So it was just giant hunks of cauliflower. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, so that one was a no-go. No go. I think that was called, yeah, for a yeah. something. So, mm -mm. okay. So then for dinner we got the Texas Triangle. So you had smoked brisket, smoked pulled chicken, smoked pulled pork. We couldn't tell the chicken and pork apart. Mm -mm. But the one that I thought was chicken, I didn't like. It had some kind of. It was a little spicy and but i don't like it and the fr the other one that i thought was the pork had like a sauce on it kind of was a little sweet mm -hmm. don't you think? and i thought it was the opposite i thought that one was the <laughs> chicken and the spicy was the pork um then the brisket i i think i enjoyed the brisket because i enjoy fatty brisket but i didn't enjoy because i don't, don't enjoy fatty brisket <clears throat> and we went to get our sides because with that it's like a platter for two people and then um you sorry her arm's starting um you want me to hold, hold it for a little bit you can look at there get close to me hi okay so then <laughs> we each got one side and jenny got fries and i got coleslaw it was purple it was purple so but it wasn't bad um it was creamy i think it was kind of creamy I wouldn't use the word creamy. It didn't taste like anything to me. It wasn't like a vinegar based. Oh, no, no, no. So, I no. Because in North Carolina, you know, they have that vinegar. Yeah. 
And it wasn't. It that. wasn't that. But I mean, it wasn't horrendous. No, no, it didn't taste like anything to me. And then they brought their sauces. So one sauce was a South Carolina honey mustard sauce. Really? Then they had a Thousand Island. What? That's <laughs> no. And then a Texas barbecue sauce, which tasted like ketchup. It tasted like a lot of ketchup and then some kind of, just a hint of spice. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> no, thank you. The sauces were a no <laughs> for both of us. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, and then for dessert, which we did not get dessert, they gave you a choice of a brownie with peanut butter ice cream, apple crumble with vanilla bourbon ice cream, or key lime pie. Okay. Now, being from being from Kentucky, we probably should have tasted the vanilla bourbon ice cream. Right. I mean, you know. But we only had our table till six thirty because somebody had a reservation. Yeah. So and we were trying. I'll to tell you, when out. you see the pictures, it looks empty. When we left, it was wall to wall, very loud people. The atmosphere was very cool. Yeah. Um. Had they, rap music playing. Yeah. Now, I, I, hey, I like a good rap, but in a barbecue restaurant. Uh, hey, and they are marketing themselves as a southern, I got it, a southern barbecue. Yeah, so I would have thought country music. Yeah. That's yeah. what I would have thought. So, so, but that wasn't the case. Um, but the decorations were very cool. Yes. They were very cool. Um, so, my overall experience, I am giving them a five. I, I lowered it a little bit. I'm giving them a six just because I think that they were above average. I think they did a great job attempting a southern barbecue restaurant. Okay. So I'm going to give it a six. Well then, okay, then I will go back to my five and a half. <laughs> <laughs> because, I mean, the ambiance was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I mean, and I liked the music. It just didn't fit southern barbecue. Um, and I liked the brisket. And I liked that first little platter of yummy. The mac appetizers. and cheese ball was really good. That was a ten out of ten. Yeah, and and the that whole platter was a ten out of ten. Yeah, I mean, if you come to Zurich, Switzerland, some of you might have said, "Well, where is Zurich?" Um, Switzerland, and you go to brisket, you have to get that. Mhm. Mm it, it was really good. Um. So yeah. Five and a half, six out of ten. Well, I guess that's not too bad. Well, all right. What do they say in Switzerland for goodbye? Peace out, y'all.